Hello, welcome to Dan Multi Skills. In this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to place multiple images in text with Adobe Photoshop CC 2020. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon to turn on the notifications for future uploads. Let's begin. When you open Photoshop, create a new document, name your project, and then set, set the width 1920, the height by 1080, and the resolution 72. Click create. I have a white background I'd like to change it to a slight light grayish, so I'm going to create a new fill. Just click on the create new fill, choose solid color. I'd leave everything as default except changing the brightness to 90. Click OK. Now I'm going to add a text, and for this text, I'm going to add done, all in capital. Now I'm going to resize it. There is uh, two ways that you can resize the text. Uh, the first one is you can go to edit on Photoshop and click free transform or you can do a shortcut. The shortcut for the PC is going to be control T for the Mac is command T then resize it. Place it in the middle. Press enter once you're happy with it. Now, what you can do, you can change the space in between the letters if you want it to by going to the properties and then change the value of the spaces here. Uh, I've set it as 20. Uh, that's going to be more than enough uh, for this video. If, if you're not happy with the space in between the letters, you can play with it and choose uh, whatever value you want it to have. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this text layer into shape. In order to do that, all you have to do is right click on the text layer and then just click convert to shape. Once you've done that, what we're going to do now, we're going to create uh, two copies. Uh, in order to do that, you just drag and drop to create a new layer. Do exactly the same with the second one. If you have more than three letters, then you can create four or five, depends how many you have. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hide the first and second copy. Make sure you click on the first let, uh, first text and I'm going to select a, a tool called Path Selection Tool. Make sure you select that and I'm going to click on the text on the letter A and N. Do exactly the same for the other two. So I'm going to hide this one, click on the second one make it visible that you can see. So this time I'm going to select on D and N. Do exactly the same for the third one. Hide this one, click on the third one. Make sure you click on the layer and make it visible. And I'm going to delete D and A. So now I've created three, three the text layers and each text layer had the, has been assigned to one letter. So I'm going to place image on each letters one by one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide the first and second copy, select the very first layer. Now, in order for me to add a, an image into the letter, all you have to do, go to File, Place Embedded, and bring your image, Place. By default, the image will going to be outside of the letter. So in order to insert it into the text, all you have to do, you can right click and then click create clipping mask. As soon as you do that, it will automatically insert it into the letter. So what you can do again, you can click edit and free transform, or you can do a shortcut by control T on the Mac command T. So you can drag it, you can set it how you want it, you can resize it to make it small to see which way is going to be the best way forward. So for this video, I'm just going to be showing you on how to uh, place multiple images in text. So I'd leave it as it is. Now I'm going to make the second one visible. Just tick it, make sure that you can see the second letter. Do exactly the same, make sure you click on the text layer, for example, and go to File, Place Embedded, 
and bring the second picture for example I'm going to bring the second picture as you can see by default again it's going to be outside of the letter so I'm going to right click on it create clipping mask do exactly the same uh, you can control T or command T for Mac set it wherever you want it once you're happy with it press enter do exactly the same for the third one file embedded before you do that sorry all you have to do is make sure the uh, letter is visible and then go back to the file place embedded and choose the final uh, image place it as you can see it's going to be outside again all you have to do right click on the picture and create clipping mask as you can see by default it will insert it into the letter so control T again for the Mac a command T place it wherever you want it so I'm going to leave it there press enter now we've inserted three images in three different letters so what we're going to do next is uh, if you want to you can add more effect into it for example or more style so in order to do that all you have to do is highlight every single uh, text and images uh, layer highlight them all all you have to do now is create and right click on it and create a new group from layers now you can rename the group for example you can name it multiple text if you want it to place multiple images in text click OK now what we're going to do is create uh, you, you can add more effect to it add a layer style so for this one I'm going to add stroke as you can see it's gonna make it look a lot nicer so you can play with it depends how you want in it so you can set like 14 for this video I've set 14 it works out better for the letters uh, plus for the images or you can set it to whatever you want make sure you choose the position is outside wide background and then I will add some drop shadow for the drop shadow you can change the distance like around 15 leave the speed zero and uh, the size is around 30 it depends again you can play with it I would also change the angle for example around 130 140 or 135 let's say 135 whichever you prefer once you're happy with it click OK and you're good to go uh, one last thing just to uh, make it clear if you decided that the background doesn't match you can also change the background all you have to do uh, if you remember we've created a slight large gray background we've changed the color so all you have to do is select that layer and click on the thumbnail double click on it and you can select a pen to select a color for example you can click anywhere as you can see it will change the color for example if you go here if you click anywhere you can choose whatever color you prefer so for this one I'm going to choose this color and click OK that's how you uh, place multiple images in text if you have any issues or if you need any help please don't hesitate to leave a comment below Please make sure you subscribe this, to this channel as this channel is new. I will bring more useful videos including Photoshop and other useful videos. Thanks for watching.